Hello and welcome to Nature Days Outdoor Learning Resources sponsored by the Gower Society. Now my challenge for you today is to plant some seeds. Now the ground's starting to warm up and you can see that spring has started because you see those spring bulbs starting to awaken. But so now's a great time to start thinking about what you would like to grow. Now there are two options really, we could grow some flowers or we can grow some vegetables. And really it's very, very simple. You just need to follow what it says on the packet of your packet. So I've got some packets of seeds here. Now, if you've never grown vegetables before, then don't worry, it's really, really simple. And you can start with some really easy ones. Radishes are really easy to grow. So are lettuces. And one that I love to grow is the flowers, is the sunflowers. So I'm just gonna show you how to plant some of these. Now, sunflowers, you can plant straight into the ground. And as the ground is warming up, you could do that straight away now. But if you're not sure, look at the back of the packet and it will tell you when the months for you to plant the seeds are. If you are starting some vegetables off, I'm gonna start some cauliflowers off, then it's still a bit cold for those to be outside. So what we'll do is we'll plant them up in some pots and then I'm gonna take them into my utility room. So if you've got some way that you can leave them that's a bit warm, so if you've got a greenhouse or if you've got anywhere that's a bit warmer than outside, you could leave them there to sprout. And once they start to turn into little seedlings, then you can bring them outside and plant them into your veg patch. So what do we need? We need seeds. We need something to grow them in. It could be pots, it could be trays. You could use little yogurt pots. You could even use the Tetra packs that you use for milk and cut them up, anything at all. You can recycle anything. Just make sure the water can come out of them. So make some holes in the bottom and make sure they're not gonna blow away. So we're gonna start by putting in some compost. So I'm just gonna get my gloves on. I guess this is gonna be a bit messy. Then we're gonna fill up these pots with some compost. There. So we've got our compost into our pots. Next, we're going to put our seeds in. Now I'm going to do these cauliflower seeds and it says at the back that January and February is gonna be a good time to plant them, but it's going to be too cold outside. So we need to put them onto a windowsill. So I need to put them into a pot here and I need to cover them up with just a tiny bit of compost. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna make a little hole in my compost, only about a centimetre deep or so. And then I'm gonna take my cauliflower seed and I'm gonna put it into my pot. Now, one trick about seeds, if you're opening it, just give it a shake, get all the seeds down to the top end, so hold it upside down and then rip it. Because so often I've ripped it and half my seeds have gone flying. So there's a little tip for you. Sometimes they're in a little sachet inside if they're tiny seeds. Now these ones are, but they're still pretty small. So when you can take out your seeds, you suddenly find you've got hundreds of them and it's very tempting to plant them all. But again, read what it says on the back. If it says take one seed and place it into your pot, then take one seed. Because if you put lots into your pot, they're all gonna be competing with each other for all the things that plants need to grow. So when they're seeds, they don't really need anything, just a bit of moisture. So they will actually just all sprout. And then if you've got 10 in a tiny little pot, once they start growing a little root downwards and a shoot upwards, they'll start to compete with each other for the water. And once they get tall enough, they'll be in each other's shadow. So they'll be competing with each other for the, the sunlight as well. So do stick with the rules of what it says on the back of the packet. So I'm gonna put my one into I can't take, do this with my gloves on. <laughs> okay, I can't take my glove off with me out my other hand. <laughs> okay, done it. So, here we go. One seed into the pot. And then I just gently cover it up like that. Okay. Next, of course, all plants need water. Even seeds need water to sprout. So we need to water that and then place that inside a tray where the water's not gonna come out and put that into a warm place and wait for it to germinate. Now, if you're going to do some flowers, such as sunflowers, you can do exactly the same. Start off with your pot, fill it up with compost. Like that. Then open your seeds from the bottom and then take out 
one of your seeds. Now, these are blue. Now, sunflower seeds are not normally blue, so they've been coated in something. It could be to stop them being eaten. It could be to stop them rotting, I'm not sure, but we're gonna use them anyway. Ah, so we need one seed. And if you've got big seeds, you can try and work out which way should be the top and which way should be the bottom. Now with these, what I tend to do is I just push them in with my fingers like that, and then cover again over with the compost. So now I've got my sunflower and my, and my cauliflower. And what's really important is I need to label them because I won't know which is which. So you can get some twigs and just shake off a bit of the bark with a bit of a butter knife and then write with a Sharpie or a, or a pen what the name of the plant is and then just put it into your pot. And then you put them somewhere warm and you wait. Once they get big enough, you'll be able to transplant them into your veg patch or where you want them to grow outside. If you've got a sunflower, it's not going to grow very big inside a pot this size, so you do need to transfer it over. Cauliflower, again, it's not going to survive here for long. You need to move it on. So this is just the start of your journey. If you really want to know what's going on inside your pot, though, a great activity is to just sprout out some seeds. It can be any seeds you like, but just place them on top of some kitchen roll, kitchen roll that's moist, put them on top of a plate, just lay them out so they've quite got spaces between each seed and just wait. And over a few days, you'll start to see a little sprouting appear. And that sprout is the root or the radical. So the radical comes out first. And it just shows that seeds don't need anything to sprout. They just need water. They need it to be moist because they've got everything they need inside that seed. So that seed has got all the food they need. It's a bit like an egg got all the food that they need to sprout out until they've got that shoot which has got leaves on it which you can then use the sun to photosynthesize to produce enough food so they can start to grow themselves. That initial bit doesn't require anything else so lay them out see those sprouts coming out and in fact when those sprouts are getting big enough so they're just starting to grow their shoots you can actually eat those and they're really good for you lovely in a salad and they taste yummy. You might have had them in a Chinese takeaway before now. So good luck with your planting. Wildflowers, this is a great time to also plant some wildflowers out. They need to go directly onto the soil, so not into your pots. Just rake it out, make it nice and flat, take away any stones, sprinkle out your, your wildflowers and then cover them up with a fine layer of compost. And if you can plant some wildflowers which are native to your area, so in Wales, plant some devil's bit scabious, some oxide daisies, some cornflowers, and then the, then the pollinators that live near here will really appreciate what you've done for the wildlife. So good luck and good growing.